What's going on everyone? My name is Suboptimal Engineer and today I'm going to help you elevate your programming skills by getting you started with Vim. Not Vim the text editor, but Vim in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to be going over three specific things. First is going to be why you need Vim commands. Second is going to be the visual mode philosophy. And third is going to be actually setting up your VS code with Vim commands. And before we get started, I'm going to ask ask for one small favor from you guys, which is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. It does take me a few hours to plan and edit these videos. So a simple like really does help me and the channel out quite a bit. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump right in. So why do you need Vim commands? Development speed is an obvious gain. You can do a lot more with a lot fewer keystrokes using Vim commands. As soon as you have a solution in your mind, Vim makes it a lot easier to interface with your text editor. You'll be able to code a lot faster. But that's not the real reason why you should be learning Vim commands. The real reason you need to learn Vim commands is for ergonomics. Vim helps protect your hands and wrists from random pains and aches. Let's take these examples into consideration. You might have to go up or down quite a bit in a file, right? If you want to scroll down, either you scroll down with your mouse or you scroll down with the arrow keys, up or down. But both of those actions force you to move your hand away from your home row. And if you do that, enough, it actually starts hurting your wrist, especially if you do it really quickly. Say I want to go down to the select button really quickly, right? I'm going to move my hand from my home row. I'm right now on the home row. I'm going to move to my mouse and go here. Or with Vim, I could just press J a couple times and it'll take me there. Obviously, it takes a similar amount of time. So going from attach down to V select with J takes the same amount of time as if I were to use my mouse to do the same thing. But the difference here is the amount of distance your hand moves. Your hand moves no distance at all if you're just going to press J. You're just moving your finger because your finger is already on JKL semicolon. So pressing J is a lot easier than going to your mouse. Same thing for the arrow keys. Again, pressing J to go down is a lot faster than moving your wrist all the way to the arrow key to press down. So in terms of ergonomics, Vim is really helpful. Let's take another example. Say you want to move this uh, below this column. How would you do that normally? Well, you would probably be in insert mode and you'd press shift down, 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 go all the way like this and then press like a command X and then do a command V. That's a very slow process. You're moving your hand way more than you need to. Now let's suppose you do this with Vim. You're going to press uh, shift V to select the line, press J. You don't have to go down to the arrow keys, press D to delete, and it is stored in your register. And then you just press P to print. So the number of commands that you do might be very similar. But here, the main difference is that you're not moving your hand away from the home row. Vim allows you to do a lot of things without causing a lot of hand pains because you won't be moving to the arrow keys. You won't be moving to your mouse as much as you need to. It just allows you to interface with your code in a much smoother manner. And that's why you need to use Vim commands. So now that you understand why you need to use Vim commands, let's take a look at the visual mode philosophy. So if you're doing anything that is not specifically writing code, just switch to normal mode. Normal mode lets you traverse your files using Vim commands, and it's just a lot faster. It's just a lot smoother. You won't get a lot of issues with your hand moving all the way to the arrow keys or using your mouse to traverse your file. Rather than you know scrolling to your mouse and going all the way down, you can just press shift G to go to the last line of the file, or you can press GG to go to the top of the file. You can, there's a lot of Vim commands that you can use. So if you're ever not writing code, just be in normal mode. 
So now that you understand why you need Vim and the visual mode philosophy, let's get you set up with Vim inside of VS Code. All you have to do is go to the extensions section inside of your sidebar. You can do that by pressing Command Shift X. That opens up all of your extensions. And all you have to do is search for Vim. If you don't have it enabled, it'll just give you a button to press install. And you might have to close your VS Code and reopen it. Otherwise, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Vim just starts working right out of the bat. So once you have it enabled, you're already 80% there. The next step is to configure some commands to make it easier to work with Vim. And there's really only two things you need to do. The first is how to get into Vim mode. I just say that if I press KJ while I'm in insert mode, so right now I'm in insert mode, if I press KJ, that is going to remap to pressing escape. So when you first set up Vim, the only way you can enter Vim mode is by pressing escape. So now I'm in Vim mode and if I press J or K, I'll go up or down. I like that remapped to KJ because obviously I don't want to move my hand all the way to the escape button to enter Vim mode. So now if I just press KJ really quickly, it enters Vim mode. So that is the first really important thing to get set up. And the next thing that I kind of found annoying, but I had to dig around quite a bit to figure out was that tabs don't work in Vim. If you try to press tab, it actually doesn't work if you're in visual mode. And that is because the default tab setting, the default tab setting says that if you are in uh, read only mode, it doesn't work. As you can see right over here, tabs only work if you're not in editor read only. But if you're in Vim mode, you're in read only mode. So if you want tabs to work, you actually have to write these two commands down. So if I save that, save that. Now if I press tab while I'm in Vim mode, as you can see, uh, tab works and then shift tab also works. So yeah, these are the only two things you really need to set up. The first thing is to make sure that you set up the way you enter visual mode. And the second thing is to just kind of enable tabs in uh, inside of Vim. So by default, it's just not enabled. If you press tab like this, it won't work, but you can set it up really quickly by just adding this command to your key bindings.json. So yeah, these are the two files to make sure you update them. And yeah, after that, you should be pretty much good to go. All the other things that I have are sort of custom for my setup. Maybe I'll go over them in another video, but for the purpose of getting started with Vim, you only need to do this inside of settings.json and this inside of key bindings.json. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about Vim commands in Visual Studio Code. Do you think Vim is essential or it's completely optional? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you think any of my settings are pretty bad, then feel free to roast me as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.